Hey yo, welcome back to Uncle Karius, everybody. So I think it's the ninth episode. Excuse any beeping here in the background or any sudden jump cuts. I'm whipping it up in the pot in the background. But yeah, this is our home. I don't know if I showed it off already. I think I did. I don't remember. <laughs> but here it is. If you haven't seen it, it's nice. I, I like it. I like how small it condenses. Some people said add moss to the bottom. I wouldn't even know how I go about doing that. How do you make moss? Oh, don't look at that. That's for later in this episode. There's only moss I know. And the only vines I know is blocks like these. So I don't know how I'd go about doing that. Because this isn't Minecraft. I can't just add vines to things. But yeah. Uh, another person said, make it the beginning of a giant whale's mouth. That sounds like a lot of work. <laughs> I don't know about that one. I don't know why a whale would just be randomly. I was going to say randomly. Uh, I don't know why a whale would just be randomly in the middle of the forest either. But let's head back to the left. We're going to be fighting the boss from Battle Route today. Now, the boss is called the Cooler, I think. I don't even know where he is on the list. I don't even know if he's on the list. He might not even be on the list. If he is on the list, I feel like he'd be far down. No, I don't see him. I don't think he's on the list. Oh, no, there he is. Cooler. So, what does it say? Difficulty increases in hard mode. So he's one of those bosses that gets stronger in hard mode. Much like some of the Calamity bosses or most of the Calamity bosses. But first, we need some things. We need a worm and we need ice. That's what we need. People, a Juice told me. Because I was wondering why I couldn't turn in these quests or they weren't coming up. You can just straight up give it to them. If you already fought the boss. That's only if you fought the boss before uh, he gave you the quest. He won't ever tell you. Fire Flinger. Has this always been in the game? I don't remember. <laughs> I think these have always been there. Hey, you mana crystals. That's good because I don't even know how many mana crystals you can use. I think you can use 10. Pommel? We'll hold on to that. Binoculars? Blah. Slime Staff? Blah. Alright, there you go. Nice. So we need to. Let me make sure all my weapons. Can you even reforge? these you can oh, sweet damage we're gonna actually get new ones this episode anyway so i probably shouldn't mess with them too much it's good they're all bad ones speed a minus is speed that doesn't matter but yeah let's go ahead fucking goddamn jump let me talk to this guy too alton we're gonna get some uh pies why not I ain't talking about cream either. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. All right, let's see here. You want a shine potion? Psych, I'll drink it right in your damn face. So, we need to catch a worm. Where can we? Let me talk to my boy, Billy, though. Billy, the fish, sky lake, and surface. I don't have any surface places I can fish besides the beach. Uh, but yeah, let's try and catch a worm. Let's break some of these rocks. Oh, there you go. Nice and easy. Now we need 50 ice blocks. I think I already have 50 ice blocks at the house. But we're going to be for sure and we're going to get some more. Alrighty, back at the house. We got what we need. Uh, but we do need to make it at a demon altar instead of the house. So I probably shouldn't have came straight to the house. Whatever, it's fine. Because we're going to make something else too. You know what that something else is? There's so many butterflies. I kind of want to catch them. I'm going to catch these butterflies. Little butterflies. I don't know if I ever need you, but I'm going to catch you. Just letting you know right now, you're going to be in my captivity for captivity. Yo, what? There's a sky island right there. I can't catch that one. That one's way too far. <laughs> wait, wait. Wait, we can do this. <laughs> I was close. That's all that mattered. I was close. I mean, we still caught it, but y'all see the effort? That was some good effort right there. All right, let's deposit this. So, I'm trying to think right now. There's battle rods we can make. It's either the meteor one or the jungle one. I don't know which one's better. We're going to look which one's better. And then we're not going to make the better one because I want to go through both of them. I'll try my best to go through all the battle rods. But obviously, I'm going to miss a couple because there's so many. And we can easily bypass the majority of them. Heart of the jungle. Uh, so we need 15 jungles. Well, can I just make that right now? Do I need to look it up? Oh. I kind of need to. Because I don't know what I don't have and what I do have. Okay, so I need stingers. I need vines. Perfect. Easy to get. I don't know, actually. Vines are kind of hard to get. It's like, you can get vines easily if 
only if man eaters decide to spawn. That's what they're called, right? They're man eaters or man hunters. Whatever, who cares? Meteorite. Did I ever pick up meteorite? We're gonna pick some up right now, alright? We're just gonna toss this down here. And hopefully get a good chunk. Oh my god, are you kidding me? We got one piece from that bomb. Alright, this is gonna be hot. My toes. Ah, 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 ah. You actually come like right here in mine aqua if you really wanted to. <laughs> I mean, we're slowly dying from it. Because we're not supposed to be here in this specific area, but still. You know, why not? Does that drop water when you mine it, or is there already water there? And we're just kind of pouring in. I don't know. You know what? It's also going to be a little bit harder to find vines and stingers. Because half our jungle is just contaminated down here. Like, what the heck what am I supposed to do about this? It's half of it is water. I still don't have scuba gear. I can't just bypass this. I have to deal with this. This is bad. I might have to find a way to drain this artificially. We're going to go into here. Because I really do want this. Get some air. There you go. Do want whatever's in there. But we're good on spores. I don't, I don't even have to worry about spores. I'm just going to not even acknowledge any spores that I see. We're here for stingers. Which is going to be very hard to get. Because there ain't no damn bees spawning underwater. I'm surprised that tree guy spawned underwater. So we gotta go deep into the jungle. I think the whole jungle might be filled. I might have to figure out a way to drain this. <laughs> Wait, over here to the left. It's looking clean over here to the left. Okay, I might know some areas that are not completely filled with water. I saw a little jungle area right down here. Right down here. You guys see that right there? It has to lead to a bigger spot, so let's try it out. Hopefully, hopefully, it's not filled with water somehow. We're good. We're good. It's looking, and it's, oh, there's water right here. <laughs> Guys, I'm stranded. I don't know how to get out. <laughs> this is bad. There's some loot right here that I want, though. Granite chest. Come on, man. I really want that. What else I really want? Goddamn beehive. All right, we might have to skip this one. This one might just be too hard to get. I ain't seen no goddamn... Bees, wasps, whatever. It's wasps. It's hornets. I ain't seen a single one. Oh, beehive right here though, actually. That's good. Uh, but yeah, I don't. I haven't seen a hornet anywhere. This what is another beehive? We're, we're just out of here. I don't know. <laughs> we're we're gonna skip the jungle one. I'm sorry if anyone wanted to specifically see the jungle one. But blame the aquatic depths. I might have to go through some certain means to clear that area out because we just can't do anything with that. Hey, speak about things we can't do anything with, but we actually can because we got it early. Aquaite. What can I do with some aquaite? Pretty much everything. Everything here is allowed access to us. That shark storm might be pretty good. Might have to make that. Maybe a pearl pike. Does less damage. I'm yawning. Sorry. Okay, I feel like I lost a couple of brain cells during that yawn. Or at least it sounded like it. Uh, let's see here. Let's place this stuff in here. And we're going to make the meteorite rod. Because that's going to be way easier. I know you guys just want to see me fight the cooler. I'm working on it. Alright, let me get stronger first. 12 and 5. That's easy. Easy work. Me that's not easy about meteor. So, 1, 2, 3, 12. Or was the opposite? No, we're, we're good. Bam! Bada bing! Meteor rod activated. This one. Did I put all the fishing stuff in here? I did put all the fishing stuff in here. Is there... Okay. Let me see if I can right now make a fake demon altar. Just right now. No, that's the replica. I don't even remember what the fake altars are called. Let me just try altar. I'll probably take that out. Don't touch me ever again. There's these right there. The hellstone altar. Damn, I don't have enough. That sucks. Oh, there's this one. Also can't wait. Nope. Alright, that's fine. I'll just go run to one real quick. And then I guess I will meet you guys daytime 
at the beach because that's where we're gonna fight the boss all right so the cool thing about the meteor rod it actually sets enemies on fire what the heck how did i end up down here that's pretty good i like that so if you guys notice in my inventory i'm carrying a wild sapling now this wild sapling we're probably gonna have as a accessory we switch out when we do some fishing which i might do at the end of this episode i don't know we'll see because we're at the point where some fishing Unless we're catching all silver and golden crates, some fishing may not just be useful anymore. Because there ain't much I'm going to benefit. I don't even know why I'm carrying around the swordfish. I'm not going to use it at all. Voice crack. Uh, really, the only weapons I'm going to be using is this and this. The rods themselves. Until something really strong comes along, which probably nothing will. Alright, let me set up a better arena here. So, I've never fought this boss. I know Fury posted an episode about fighting this boss. Didn't watch that either, just saw his thumbnail. I was like, hey, cool, you fought the boss. So if you guys watch Fury, uh, you would probably know what this boss does and what it looks like. Well, you probably know what it looks like because of the thumbnail. But yeah, we're going to fight it for the first time, at least me. I'm going to fight it for the first time. It's a new boss to me, hence why there will be new in the title, given how, I don't care how old the mod is. But let's do it. Hold up. If I run over here, you probably want to put campfire light right here. There you go. All right, so oh, was an urchin. Actually, let me kill you. Let me kill you real quick, because I might be able to use these. Maybe we'll see. All right, let's do it. So we place the chest down. Then in the chest, let me actually drink that. In the chest, you put the icy worm. One, two, three, go. Let's do it. It's the cooler, everybody. Oh, my God. Look at him. Look at him sideways. We're just going to hook him. Oh, God. Just hook him. We're just going to hook him. Oh, my. This dude did a lot of damage. We're going to hook him and see what we can do with just, you know, hooking him. Let's see. It's only doing 40 a hit, which isn't good at all. That's really bad. What the fuck? <laughs> I thought I'd do a lot more damage than that. All right. We're just going to do this, then. Because this is our strongest way to fight him. Ow. Ow. I didn't think fish would come back and hit me. Oh my god. See, this is the good thing about the... Dude, that boy came back to life all of a sudden. This is the good thing about the hook. Was being able to just, you know, have it onto him and I don't gotta do anything. But that might be too hard. This boss is actually, like, legitimately tough from what I read. Like, he's meant to be fought. Well, he could. He's like one of those bosses you can fight in hard mode and it'd be easier if you did fight him in hard mode. Well, actually, I don't know. Depends when you're really fighting him. This dude's gonna kill us. He's doing so much damage, and there's not much I can do about the damage he's putting out. I can, like, take a quick break and then heal up. It's these fish, man. The arc of these fish, it's hard to control. It's really hard to control. I, I like his sprite. I like his nice, nice and normal sprite. I can jump really high. You can jump really high, too, but I can jump higher, so. Nice try. See, look. Like, what am I supposed to do here? It's just like, I'm scared. <laughs> it's like my fish keep on going through the platform. I got to stay on the solid ground, but there ain't enough flat solid ground for me to want to stay over here. Oh, my God. He actually hit me with that. That sucks. Okay, let's just stop. Don't do anything. We're going to try these because we can poison him. Okay, it, ain't, it wasn't really good poisoning, was it? I, I missed the majority of them. Just hit him with the, hit him with the lure. Dude, I have so much, so many problems trying to control this lure. <laughs> right there. Wake up. He scares me the way he does little baby hops. Like, I'm, I'm afraid when he's going to do a big hop. Dude, we need to clear out the area. This is bad. Okay, good. We just wait for him to do his little hop and get out the way. What is that? They do dashing across the crass. They do dashing and crashing, man, man. <laughs> I don't know what accent or whose voice that was. But, uh, there you go. I just did it right there. Don't hit yourself with a fish. That'd be bad. Hit him with this. Yeah, we might be under underprepared when damage-wise. Dude, you're burning. You can't just, like, ignore that. Do something. Not that. That's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. Please. So, look how much we barely do, dude. This <laughs> I need a way stronger rod than this. Given I can get a lot stronger rods. But I choose not to. We're going to go far away. Because if we go far away, he only does one attack. And that's like that far away. Oh, he did a second attack there. 
But sometimes when you go far, he just does that dash. And if we can keep him doing that dash, this is easy work. I might have to cut out some of this. This might be too long. I'm scared if I cut it, he'll just go off on me and like one tap me. So I don't know if I should. Let me try some different attacks here. Does that do more damage? This dude just has a lot of defense. He's a defensive dude. 119 right there with that one hit. Oh, fuck. He's coming through the floor. Get him. Get him, summon. Get his ass. Do you think he does the jump? I'm trying to see when he does the jump. It's hard to figure out this dude's attack patterns. Because... I don't know. He keeps switching it up. And I don't want to really experiment right now. We're more than halfway done fighting him. It wouldn't be a good time to experiment on him. I sure got to be a bat. That bat could have ruined the whole fight. Oh, no, no. What the fuck? He got me right there. He got me that one-two. Don't hit me with that. That's going to be bad. He did that little one-two dash where he dashed forward and backwards. That got me so bad. Chunk my health. Okay, we got 40 seconds on both. So let's play it cool. If I have to, just let him just sit there. That's really if I have to. All right, yeah, just yeah, go ahead. Just chill out right there, man. Don't kill me. I cannot get one hit right now. I can maybe get two hits. Oh, God. Whew. That was close. That was close. Let's just keep our distance and see if we can just keep getting them to do that dash attack. And we all good, baby. We all good. Yes, we got them in a dash attack pattern. Got him in a dash attack pattern. I need to heal up. Like, now. I need to heal up now. Hurry up. And do the other heal. I need to set my, uh, the other, the uh, Thorium heal to something else. Because hitting J while using WASD is not, like, an easy thing to do. It's like, I don't know. If I had, well, I could use my thumb. But when's if I need to jump? Like once we dash, I mean, I needed to jump. I'd have to use my thumb. What am I going to hit space bar with then? My pointer finger? Then what the heck am I supposed to use for D? Oh, shit. That's not fair. You can't do that. I'm stuck. <laughs> okay, we're good. And when I said I was stuck, I was like underneath him. That was a bad position to be in. Lower, he had the, he had the high ground. And everyone knows, high ground always wins, right? It's the most overpowered. You know who knows? Anakin. He knows now. You shouldn't mess with that shit. Y'all Star Wars people know what I'm talking about. Oh, God. Ooh, get fucking juked. He thought I was going to do some crazy shit. But no, I did some simple shit. I just dashed. That's really all I did. It wasn't that crazy. But yeah, I might cut out parts of this fight. I don't know. It's kind of an intense fight. If I didn't cut it out. Even though if I didn't cut anything out, it's still pretty intense. Because this dude can like three tap us. Oh shit! We're good, we're good. He could three tap us if he really tried. But he ain't really trying, so he ain't gonna three tap us. He ain't three tapping me, boy. Do the dash. Alright, you did the dash on the floor. I didn't expect it. Wait, dude. This dude, he's on the prowl. I went to scratch my nose for a split second. Dude, try to come up on me like that. Don't do that ever again. Boy, crack. 1k health. 1k health. We got this. He's coming all the way back. He's coming all the way back. He's coming from downtown with the dash. I need like a, a sports announcer to commentate my uh, my Terraria gameplay here. My Uncle Karius, he's up with a 5-0 lead. Or 310 to 4. That's not even a lead. He had more health than me. Dude has no health. He had more health than me still. How embarrassing. Alright, these fish luckily have not been a problem. Jeez, which ones are mine? Alright. It's down to the wire. He's dead, so there's no wire for it to be down on. We did it, boys and girls and everything in between and not in between. Boom bada bing. Treasure bag. Let's head home. Let's head home to West Virginia. New Ridge Mountain. You guys thought I was about to start singing that Fallout 76 shit. I almost did. It's a good song. It's a good song for the theme. Where did I place the treasure bag? There was something else I wanted to do. I wanted to make gel because we picked up a slime banner. All right. Let's open it up. Boom, bada, bing. What we got? Certificate of a master baiter. Allows you to craft powered baits when consumed permanently. 
Huh. That's really cool. So now we can create powered baits. Awesome. And we got, uh, sorry, it's nimble magic soda. Shake and spray. Damage usually decreases with distance. What? This sounds amazing. We're keeping a swordfish because, well, you'll see later. You'll see in episode 10, which I think is the next episode of that, or it's an episode after this. I don't know what episode we're on right now. Shake it. Shake it. So it decreases in distance. So it's got to drop off. Okay, so if I were to hit this guy, it's doing 22 a hit. What is if I went? You fucking bitch. I'm trying to test out a weapon. So that's cool. I like that. I like that a lot. That's interesting. He has a lot of cool weapons that I do want to check out. We're probably going to fill up our whole inventory with his weaponry. So, uh, I don't know. It takes a really long time to fight him. We'll fight him when we upgrade our gear. Which should be soon because in the next episode, we're going to be fighting the Queen Bee. We're going to try and make the beady right armor, and we're going to try and get her battle rod from her. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. <gasps> My name is Gears101, and I'll see y'all next time.